Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. Hope you're doing well. We're gonna have a look and see what's going on for you at the time you find this video, what the daily energy is, what the advice is for you. Um, we're gonna do a slightly different spread. I was telling you earlier how it's percolating. <laughs> I think I got it. Uh, so we're going to give it a go and see how, how it works uh, for us. So if you could give me some feedback on the new spread, that would be greatly appreciated because I want to make sure I do readings that are useful to you, right? Um, all that being said, yeah, thank you all for your support, for liking, sharing the videos, for commenting, for subscribing. Thank you to my members. Welcome to my new members. Um, if you want to become a member and you don't know how, click the join button and behind not behind below the video and it will show you your options um and yeah i think that's it all that being said let's see pisces for pisces placements energy and advice of the day for pisces uh, placements what does pisces need to know to help them on their way okay so this is what we're gonna do similar to what we had up until this point it's going to be daily um sorry overall energy and events and developments again work money personal projects if you don't work your studies your business home and family matters love life whether you're single coupled up in between and over here we're going to have advice okay for the day so let's see bottom of the deck with judgment big decision being made, official decision, official communications coming in, uh, forgiveness, release, starting over, starting from scratch, second chances, um, but could also be an, um, official communication, so dealing with authorities, government, police, higher-ups, um, decisions kind of cascaded, you're being notified, okay, of something. And the overall energy, nice, we have the Fool and the High Priestess. Judgment, the Fool and the High Priestess, Pisces, pay attention, is telling you that you are correct in what you're thinking, and yes, go for it, all right? Whatever that is to you, you are correct in what you're thinking, feeling, dreaming about, your intuition's telling you, your heart's telling you, you are correct, that is the right decision, yes, go for it judgment high priestess is telling you your intuition is correct the information you are processing the conclusions you're drawing the impulse the drive the pull to do something that is correct follow through go for it okay take a chance embrace it pursue it etc major arcana is a big hitters too so let's see work money your studies your projects wow we have the empress with the magician a very important meeting a very important um face to face this could be an interview negotiation um a casual meeting to discuss a project or to discuss responsibilities expectations goals this is also, it could be with a female figure that could be relevant, or a Taurus or a Libra. So we have Gemini, we have Virgo, don't get stuck on signs. Um, this could also be going into business with family, starting a family business, starting a home business, uh, talking to someone at the bank, talking to someone, um, an advisor of sorts, a lender. I also get... Uh, credit checks or background checks or anything like that the results are coming in so they're calling you up notifying you we've got everything we need this is your start date we'll see you then or uh, we got everything we need back you got approved there you go green light whatever it is that you've asked for applied for etc if you haven't started anything yet this is telling you again listen to your intuition if it's telling you to go and go now then go now initiate apply set up a meeting, give them a call, send that email, okay? It's a very creative time you're in, it's a very fertile time you're in, people will listen to you, people will pay attention, people wanna see you, people wanna work with you, things will flow. This is a good window of opportunity, which is why they're telling you, again, if you hear go, if you're getting the message to go, to get going, to do it, 
listen, follow through, okay? Because things will come together a lot easier for you. Um, you don't have to have it all figured out, just take the first step, okay? And the first step could be looking at what's out there, looking at your options, looking at what jobs are available, but you're putting it out into the universe, you're starting to manifest that dream job coming in, right? And it will happen quickly. Definitely dress to impress, dress for the job you want to have, dress to impress um, is coming up here. Pay attention to how you're presenting yourself. Yes, your experience, your knowledge, your qualifications, that is very important, but also dress to impress that's coming up as a strong message here. Male or female, doesn't matter. Details. Okay, details, pay attention, make sure everything's on point. You're really gonna impress someone. For some of you, this I'm seeing something to do with about a business that has to do with jewelry or creative stuff, painting, drawing, um, putting together portfolios, presentations. Okay. Home matters, home and family, or community, the other people in your life. We have the Two of Wands and the Ten of Swords. So the Two of Wands with the Ten of Swords, it could be that there's a false start somewhere. It could be that you change your mind about something. Pay attention to your intuition. When it comes to home and family matters, when it comes to matters to do with community, other people in your life, whatever their role is. It could be people at work, it could be people you're friends with, it could be whatever, people you go gym with, I don't know. There's something that is revealed to you. Whether it's someone sharing a secret with you, or you coming across this information somehow, or it's just your gut feeling that's telling you to get out of something not to entertain something, not to give that person money, not to go into business with them, not to let them move in, okay? Um, you not move in with them, to just not associate with them. It, this is, again, something that you might have initially said yes to, but you have time to change your mind. You may have reluctantly said yes to this and it's still eaten away at you. That's your confirmation that maybe you shouldn't be there. Maybe you shouldn't do it and you can change your mind. That's your right to do, okay? There could also be a situation that you're leaving behind with the fool and the high priestess and judgment. Again, it's, the sim it's a similar message, but I'm just seeing it has slightly different scenarios to where someone's betrayal is coming up uh, somehow or someone's hurt feelings are coming up someone's talking about their hurt feelings um, that have led to an ending maybe you said something and it hurt someone's feelings or it led to an ending and it's always been eaten away at you and you've been wondering if you should reach out to the, the person and apologize okay it could be that kind of situation But yeah, don't don't feel bad. You don't have to explain yourself. If something feels off, trust your guidance, trust your intuition, okay? Um, it, there's something off, there's something off, okay? And this person might be really upset when you say, actually, I've changed my mind. But you know what? If, if you feel there's something off, trust that because there probably is something off. They're not telling you. You don't know something. And you're gonna get yourself in trouble by associating with them or something to that effect, right? For others of you, if there is an ending happening as a result of a decision being kind of communicated and uh, cascaded, so again, it's something that you don't necessarily have control over, you're not particularly... The camera froze. Okay. Um, it happened and it, it kind of hurts, but at the same time, the high priestess is telling you, you know what, I think it's a good thing. You might not know how or why. You might think you're crazy. Other people might tell you you're crazy, but you're going, you know what, I think it's a good thing. I'm not sure how, but I think it's a good thing. And then you start looking around at other options, or you start digging more into the situation and you find this hidden information, you're going, that's why it didn't happen. That's why it failed. That's why I didn't get involved, right? I didn't know at the time, I couldn't put my finger on it, but I knew there's something off, right? There's, there's something like that coming out. When it comes to your love life, we have the Hierophant and the Eight of Wands. 
with the full high priestess in judgment, this could be proposal energy. This could be, it's, it's communication. Taurus energy is significant, but someone's inviting you to something. And again, the message is, if, you're, if you feel like you should go, then go. Don't overthink it. Um, this could be friends or family inviting you to something, and you really don't, when you think about it, you don't really want to go, but something inside of you is telling you really should go. Um, it could be that you meet someone at some sort of gathering, some sort of event, or through your friends and family. And it's not something that's planned. It's just something that's kind of meant to happen with the full high priestess and judgment, okay? Um, but again, you'll get signs that you should really go, Pisces. Like, you should go, you know? For others of you, um, this could be eloping. This could be finding out about someone eloping. Um, this could be communication of a pregnancy, communication of a, a marriage that's happened, communication of... Um, someone reaching some sort of milestone in their relationship if it's not to do with you your developments and the communi communications going out to the extended family if hey this happened i said yes to this this has happened we've moved in or whatever it is um for others of you something that you've been doing in secret whether it's communication whether it's dating whether it's talking to a particular person um you've been doing it in secret today is the day you tell everyone Okay, whatever the reason why you were doing it in secret, um, I just hear it's complicated, but today's the day when whatever the issue was is resolved. And it could be that, you know, someone was already technically married when you started talking to them. They were going through a separation or a divorce, but for the time being, you had to keep quiet or something like that, right? Or um, it's someone that your friend used to date ages ago, and it's like, well, let me figure, let me see what this is first before I potentially risk my friendship with this person. And then it's grown, it's developed, so it's time to tell them and just hope for the best. It could be that, right? Or that's what they're, you're telling them and they feel betrayed. And that could lead to a situation of, you know, this wasn't planned, this wasn't intentional. If you can't get over it, I don't know what to tell you, right? There may be a slight separation, temporary separation um, that results. For others of you, yeah, there's definitely just... I hope I don't ruin any surprises, but there's some sort of surprise. It could be proposal. It could be that someone's working with your family or you're working with a partner's family to surprise them somehow. Okay? Could be that. And it will be a very happy occasion. For those of you, you're dealing with family court. And there's positive news. There's, there's positive communication coming in. Hearing something you were hoping to hear, hearing something that in your heart you knew that's what they were going to say. That's what the decision was going to be, but you had to wait for confirmation, and that's what's coming in. Overall advice for the day, we have the Eight of Pentacles and we have Justice. So overall advice for the day, no matter what you got going on, first of all, whenever you get Justice coming out, always do the right thing. Just do the right thing. It's a pain in the behind sometimes. It's a lot easier to just skip steps. It's a lot easier to respond to someone in kind and, you know, if they're a jerk for us to be a jerk or whatever, but always stick to your own moral standards, stick to your own integrity, stick to the law. You know, sometimes it is a pain in the behind and the law makes no sense. But in this situation with all these cards out, always stick to the plan, always stick to the law, always stick to the rules, okay? Um, it's also saying read carefully anything to do with paperwork, contracts, documentation, anything you read, any information you're coming across, pay attention, read carefully, double check the numbers, double check names, double check spelling before you sign anything, before you commit to anything. Okay, look at the details of something um, before you make a decision or look at the details of something when it comes to a decision that was made and make sure that it was made correctly. So all the information that was needed was there. They've looked at the information required and they've made a decision accordingly, right? Make sure nothing was skipped. Make sure nothing was overlooked, okay? Um, whatever you do today, pay attention to detail. Slow it down, focus in, make sure the foundation is right before you move on to the next step this isn't a time to multitask this isn't a time to just do 50 million things at the same time this is a time to just make sure everything is done correctly as per process as agreed by the law make sure everything is done correctly 
Take it one thing at a time, one step at a time. It's very important before you move on to the next step, okay? Make sure you have all the facts you need before making a decision, okay? But also, one of the facts and the factors is to do with either intuition, gut feeling, or secret hidden knowledge, secret knowledge, hidden knowledge. You may have to research, you may have to dig it up, you may have to, um, like, you know, probe people. Just go, like, bug them until they give you the information. Or keep asking questions until you have all the answers that you need. Um, repeat the questions, test them, make sure they're telling you the, the same thing whenever you ask them. If you ask them five times, you, have to, you ask them a question five times at random times, make sure they're always giving you the same response or a similar answer, right? And they don't change their stories wildly. And for others of you, this is also telling you, um, yeah, detail. The, the level of detail in your work is important at this time, whatever that is for you. Um, it could even be cooking, you know, you're, don't forget the stove on if you leave the house <laughs> or um, don't put the wrong things in the dishes. I don't know, you know what I mean? Just pay attention to the details. I don't know if there's a tendency to be distracted at this time with the full, just grounded, pay attention to the detail, take it one step at a time, don't try to multitask too much today um, and always follow the plan, follow the schedule, follow, follow the rules, the law, the agreements. There's definitely going to be some sort of big offer coming your way, either to do with a job, a promotion, a raise, working with someone, collaborating with someone, um, them investing in what you're doing. You know, and this is saying just because someone's offering you to invest in what you're doing doesn't mean that's just 100% a good thing. No, ask, talk, dissect it, look at the details. What are they expecting for that investment? Terms and conditions, right? Discuss everything. But there's going to be something big that you're going to be contemplating, okay? And you're going to feel like you want to do it. It might not make sense to other people. It might not be something you've been necessarily looking for. I feel like there's going to be an abrupt departure for some of you because something amazing is coming in. You weren't necessarily looking for it, or that's what it feels like. Um, other people might not understand it. Other, to other people, it may seem sudden. But it's almost like you're getting pinched from one place put into another or you're offered you know uh, to switch teams you're offered to switch departments you're offered to switch companies you're offered to you know drop that and start this whatever it is and look at the details make sure it's right make sure it's valid make sure it's legal okay but also your intuition I feel like is gonna tell you to go for it okay but again your intuition is telling you to go for it, you're embracing it. And this the advice here is, there's nothing wrong with that, but also just make sure everything's in place and it's correct before you sign anything, right? As you're following your intuition, which is what you should be doing. Does that make sense? All right, Pisces, so that is what I have for us at this time. Let me know what you think. I, I kind of like the new spread. It's got a little added uh, something with the advice for the day. I think that's useful. But yeah, let me know, okay? Uh, looking forward to your thoughts. As always, I'm going to leave it there. Have a fabulous day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, Pisces.